Hi guys, myself Bharat Chaudhary, software developer at Oracle and today I will be sharing with you the tips uh, which you can use to make a very good resume and I have used the same resume in my interns and placements uh, and the companies for which I got shortlisted. Uh, for example, few of them being Oracle, Qualcomm, Atlassian and I will be also sharing with you the tips which you can use to make a good resume. So let's see. So this is the resume which i have uh, used in my interns and placements uh, this was made by overleaf i will give you the description so that you can make a similar resume we'll begin with the name on the top you can also provide a link for your email and your mobile number so that uh, even if it is posted on linkedin recruiters can reach you out firstly you have to go with the education where you can provide your college name and your particular degree right and your graduation year cgp and also <laughs> i managed to get 7.5 cgp <laughs> it's not that good but yeah like most of the companies have cut off of 7 cgpa so try to maintain it above 7.5 and few of the companies have a cut off of 7.5 and if the CGPA is more than 8, then it's a lot better, right? And then you can add your high school education and your schooling as well. It is always advisable to provide few useful links which you have. For example, if you're participating in any coding competition, it can be Hacker Rank or, you know, Code Chef. And uh, you can also participate in Code Forces, Google Kickstart. So if you have participated in any of those comp coding competition and if you have a decent rank it's always advisable to keep a link and if you have any projects uh, that you have posted on github so you can add a link of that as well you can also add linkedin link the coursework it highlights what you have learned from the courses in your college or it can be uh, through any youtube tutorials or from coursera udemy anything right and for example, I have gone through data structures and algorithms uh, of advanced level. So it's always, you know, nice to mention that, uh, okay, you have uh, expertise of advanced level so that even if the interviewers ask, you will be able to answer uh, that things like uh, data network, object oriented programming, DBMS, these concepts are must and operating system as well for the freshers job right and if you are looking for a job switch to software development engineering too then you should also include system design because that is the crucial thing which interviewers focus on and also you can add the skills at that time i have added a uh, uh, less skills only as you can see c plus plus uh, mysql java and stls are the standard template library which are used in c plus plus right i also knew few other skills like html css but i thought let's not uh, mention them if i'm not good at so but yeah you can mention them uh, and you can uh, write in the bracket as basics right like the basic level of understanding you have on those particular skills and uh, here i have mentioned extracurriculum activities which uh, you participate in your colleges similarly you can have experiences with which uh, they get an idea so that you have you can manage a different task and uh, what all events you have participated matters a lot like it should be relating to the technical things which they are looking for uh, for example i was an executive member in club where we used to conduct different workshops and competitions which you know gives insights to the people who are aspiring for software jobs and uh, we have coordinated with the computer science branch as well to conduct the mock intern and online coding round sort of things so that it gives an idea to the freshers what sort of questions will be asked in the interviews this is what i have mentioned and similarly you can look at all other descriptions coming to the course project this is also very important let me st star mark it so that it shows the ability you have to convert your idea into a project uh, for example let me take an example of finding safest path what we did is like google does finding you know shortest path why not convert it and make the safest path out of it so i took the data of philadelphia 
government which provides you know the crime rate which happened at some uh, places so finding the paths from the google maps api the three three or four paths it, it gives uh, the shortest one and the little bit next to it and all so among them we found the path which has minimum crime weight so accordingly this project was done and it was really interesting and i would like to encourage you to participate in uh, any event in your college uh, which you know involves uh, innovation and uh, kind of makeathon or anything do participate in those events if you are winner in that event and putting that thing on the resume will give a very upper hand compared to your fellow members and you can also mention the achievements which you have for example if you have participated in any coding competition and you have good decent rank uh, it's worth mentioning and you can also uh, share the certification which you have for example you can go through these things uh, i have mentioned google kickstart uh, coding competition in which i got 537 global rank so it is considered to be a good rank and if you get below 500 there are chances you can get a call from google recruiters these are the things which i liked to highlight and also mention the link so it looks authentic if uh, and recruiters wants to see he can click on the link and uh, as you can see so that it looks genuine i have a certificate of data structure and algorithms by code chef if you have a look at this one it says that i have cleared an exam uh, which certifies me with this certificate right so have a good certificate which will have an impact on your resume and it feels like uh, you know the thing and make sure your data structure skills are up to the mark and your algorithms there are many things like object oriented programming dbms oops so make sure all these concepts are cleared and then you can go for competitive programming if you're interested and uh, if you get decent rank it's always a win you can have a course project which is in accordance with the job you're applying for if you want to learn data structures and algorithms and various concepts like system design and uh, the interview experiences at different companies you can always check out uh, my website codeavenia.com i will link it in the description as you can see there are many concepts being added uh, like algorithms uh, binary search and all and in the data structures and we have system design and there are many upcoming topics as well so feel free to check out this link and you have the access to this quality content for free so check out this link and here you can see we have added blocks for various companies which you might be interested in like visa flipkart sap labs deloitte service now and many more to come right and let me open this for example here you can see what the company offers what the company is about and uh, you know the work culture and all the product and services which it has and lastly the job roles which are available at those particular companies and how to apply and it and also you can follow us on instagram linkedin and youtube so see you guys in the next video until then bye bye happy coding